Hello and welcome to an Everyday Canines video. This is the Proofing Your Wing Wrap series. In this episode, we're looking at catches versus front crosses. So the catch could turn is um, one that causes people a lot of problems. So I want to show you the difference between the two motions. We've been doing a lot on verbals with this, with Little Swift, and getting her not worrying about our body motion. But guess what? Sometimes we actually have to make sure they do know what our body motion means. Because what happens is if we suddenly throw in a turn they don't understand in our body motion, if our body motion is really weird, they might go, don't get it, don't get it. So we do sometimes need them to understand what our body is saying and that they can still do their job. Now, if we've done a lot of proofing with our verbals, it shouldn't be too much of a big deal because whatever we're doing with our body, they should do what we ask them to do. But it's still good to be able to do these um, exercises and to understand the difference between your two turns. So let's go with the front cross because that's your most basic fundamental way of getting your dog to do a tight turn. I'm not putting in a pivot turn in this category because I would consider a pivot turn quite a loose turn yes we would sometimes do it on this but we're just concentrating on actually where we're actually going to be making a cross we're actually changing sides so what's a front cross a front cross is where the dog is coming up to the jump they're turning tightly and they're changing onto this arm oh good girl now you can see she could do that on an arm motion I don't necessarily want her to be doing it on an arm motion but I do want her to understand that she can still do that turn while my body is doing this. Now the key with a front cross is that we want to be powering off before the dog finishes that turn. So we don't want to be stuck on that wing. We don't want to have to go here and wait for the dog to finish the whole wing, which is how I used to be, before we move off. I'd like, I would actually, I ideally like to be able to send her over there without having to get near that wing on a front cross. <laughs> rap, 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 rap. Loop, loop, loop. There you go. Get it. Oh my word, get it. You can get it. So, I did a front cross, I did all the motion, but I didn't need to be there. So that's, that's combining your verbals, her verbal understanding with a body motion that I didn't have to get right onto that wing. I could move off. What about a Ketchka? This is the one that usually blows people's minds. I've had a lot of problems with Ketchkas over the course of time. A Ketchka means that your dog picks up on the same arm that they went over the jump on. So one of the traditional ways, and I apologize, I'm going to turn my back on you. One way of doing it is you, as you're coming to this jump, you switch arms and you push your dog over with this arm, collect on this arm. So actually you are changing arms, but the dog ends up being on the same side as it was running to the jump on. So it came up to the jump on the right side, it finished on the right side. Whereas on the front cross, it, we came up on the right side, we finished on the left. I had a lot of trouble with that one, probably with Sparrow because she didn't like the fact I came to her, would come to a halt and she didn't like to have to push away from me. Less problems with her. Um, so I changed to a single arm Ketchka. So in this case, I would come up, I'd cue all the way with this arm and then pick up on that side. And you can see that Swift can do that. Again, we want to be able to do these with distance. We don't have to want to be right on that wing. Okay, ready? Rap, 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 rap. Check. Loop, loop, loop. Good girl. Now, those are your two main type changes of turn and you need to be able to do that. So even though we've done a lot of work on verbals, we need to be able for our dog to understand where our arms are going to be um, and that what arm they're going to be picking up on. Because obviously, if we didn't do that, then we could do that Ketchka and she could pick up on the wrong arm. If they pick up on the wrong arm, that defeats the purpose of a Ketchka or a front cross. You know, we want them to pick up on that arm. So how do we do this to make sure they are picking up on the right arm? First thing is to think about what are your arms doing? No flappy arms here. If your arms are flappy, they have a choice of which arm to pick up on. So we're going to make sure our arms are really clear to help them know where they've got to turn to. Oh, I've got one in there. How we're going to do this is that the, we're going to make sure the arm they're picking up on is the obvious arm. 
it might be a flat arm out like this as if we're like grabbing the dog good girl or it even might be a fist and we're we're making sure we connect on that arm we're going to make sure we've got eye connection with our dog so we're looking we're not just assuming they're there we're checking that's the big one because people forget what they're doing they run off oh where's my dog it's on the wrong side if we make that eye connection with that arm and we make sure we've got a, a line coming from that turn up this arm to our eyes and yes you're going to be moving forward it's only a quick glance but you know your dog has picked up on the right arm so let's go for that because if, bear in mind the verbal is just one word for the same handling maneuver the, the, to enable your dog to know which arm to pick on pick up on requires that body motion that connection okay so we're doing this as a front cross so when we do this as a front cross and I want her on this arm I'm going to make sure this arm is clear this arm we're going to take out as much out of the picture as possible if I was running it might be more like this but I'm going to try and keep it into my body so this one doesn't draw the attention that can be a bit of a girly thing we tend to flap with our arms ready loop 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 connect so I actually made a really str I made sure I connected with that arm good girl What about the other arm? So this time, we're going to connect with the other arm because we're doing a ketchka. So if you think, because I'm doing the same motion, because I do a one-arm ketchka, you think this motion is all the same. So I've got to make it really clear that this is the arm the dog is picking up on. This arm is going to come out of the equation. This arm is the one I connect on. Ready, ready, loop, loop. Good girl. Now you see, because I moved my shoulders, my arm, good girl, she knew where she was coming. She didn't need the name because she could see the side. When you turn your shoulder back like this, you're opening up a line for your dog. You're inviting them in on that side. No matter which side it is, you're inviting him on that side. So you just need to be bear with that. Remember that when you're doing these turns. If you just go a bit flappy and you don't really think about what you're doing, you don't think about those arms. If you say, well, my dog knows his verbals, you will get mistakes where your dog is on the wrong side of you. And it will be your mistake, not the dog's. Because a dog has to work on the information you're giving it. And if you're not telling it by something which side to collect on, the dog doesn't stand a chance. So that's your front cross versus a, versus a Ketchka turn with your arm motions and you're going to need to proof these along with doing all your verbals where they do it all on their own because you just need them to understand especially baby dogs when they need to change sides and when they need to stay on the same side and it is just a case of getting that connection opening that shoulder giving them that cue i hope you've enjoyed this everyday canines video if you have you might like to subscribe to the youtube channel and you can check us out on facebook and instagram Hope to see you all again very, very soon.